All right, guys, let's take this to the next level, okay? So we have our little chess piece here, and we press W, we're good to go. We're spinning around by holding Option and left click. So you just left drag uh, your mouse, you're orbiting around your space. So what I do is actually, I'm thinking of um, creating um, little portholes in here. Oops, pardon me. Uh, let's just say openings, okay? Let's use that term. Right click again, uh, face, for example. Um, let's look out here, okay? I believe there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten uh, extrusions here. So why don't we do the uh, in between and make some openings for lookout? Okay, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to hold Shift to multi-select, and I'm going to hold Option left click to spin around. Okay, so it's a little bit of juggling of fingers. Uh, Shift select, boom. Hold the uh, Option left click, drag around, orbit around. Hold Shift again, boom. Uh, Alt and left click, click. Oh, 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 I just lost the key there, but that's okay. We hold. Sh um, you can always Z back, right? Boom. It'll uh, redo the things you were doing. Okay, so watch this. Shift, spin around, hold Shift, click, and let's see. Shift, one, two, three. Spin around by holding Alt. There's one left. Excellent. Okay, um, you can do these in, uh, let's say, three at a time, four at a time if you want, or two doesn't matter but uh, when you get comfortable at this it'll be really intuitive second nature for you okay um, leave it be muscle memory there for you guys to basically do these kind of simple things all right I'm gonna press extrude again and this time I'm not gonna crank it from any of these uh, pulls here so I'm just gonna use the thickness in this sense and notice how cool this is so it's at 0.3 and if I spin around it did it uniform and uniform okay uh, so one of the keys that's working is because under Edit Mesh, we keep faces together. Okay, so sometimes when that's not enabled, you may have a different result. So I'm going to click out. That looks pretty good, right? All right, so that's a nice way of creating uh, openings and such. All right, I was looking at a chess piece online there, so if I click here once and double click, and let's do another extrude. And let's take the thickness from here out a bit, right? That's pretty nice. And we're starting to work on this model. And then W to get out so you're not in extrude mode anymore. Uh, done. And I'm looking at this uh, in terms of proportions, not looking too great. Okay. So here's a new one for you guys. All right. Under panels, you can go to orthographic and let's say front view. Right. And uh, holding option and uh, middle scroll button. And I'm looking at this going, you know, proportionally, this doesn't look that great. What can I do? First of all, I can right click and go to vertex. And for example, I mean, if you want this to be taller, so all you do is you uh, possibly grab all these vertices and notice that I'm not doing this in the perspective mode, okay? Um, if I press uh, spacebar, you're in full view here, full screen. So this is called the perspective view, right? And the way you can get to it is either panel, orthographic, or panel perspective. Panel perspective, you get this, and orthographic is where it's cut planes, front, side, and top, right? Um, you, if you want to make global changes, I prefer you guys go to Panels, Orthographic, Front. Um, so if I press Spacebar now, I get all four views, Spacebar back, and I'm going to hold Spacebar this time and watch what happens. If I right-click around here, oh, look at this, Perspective View. Isn't that nice? If I have to shade it. So again, this is a little tricky, but you'll get used to it as we build out on our skills every day. So if you hold Spacebar down and then right-click on this area, you want to go to Side View. I guess the side view, pretty nice, right? All right, so I'm gonna. This is basically orthographic. I'm gonna take all these vertices right now, press W, and I'm gonna place these up like that. Okay, and I'm gonna grab this one here, thinking, yeah, you can be higher. Right, let's bring it up more. All right, and perhaps this area can be tucked in more, so we can just. Again, I'm creating a marquee selection. Okay, guys. Marquee selection, uh, you learn this in Photoshop when you hold your mouse on one end and you do this little magic band here, elastic band that comes around. Unfortunately, there are no mar marching ants in this one, so it's okay. No worries. And it's starting to look a little better, right? I'm going to bring this down a bit more. Oops, let's see. And it's easy to just press W to make sure that's what we want to do. Move that, and I'll bring these two guys more centered in here. And if it's not working, you just have to press W to get the green. A little Y there, and we're good to go, I think. And then I'm going to uh, press spacebar, right click, and right click again. Uh, sorry, right click and select perspective, okay? Otherwise, you can just simply go panels, perspective, you're good to go. Okay, so we made some cutouts, and let's see here. I'm going to right click, move up this edge a bit. Again, this 
boom, slide up. And you want this to be a, more interesting as a, as a, oops. Now again, I have to click out so I'm not in that mode anymore, okay? What I want to do is perhaps play around here a bit. Okay, let's see what I could do here. Uh, let's bring these ones up. I'm going to hold shift at this point uh, so I can multi-select these pieces, right? And the goal here is to make this chess character to be an interesting piece, okay? And let's just bring this up a bit. Now if we have a chance, we'll print this on our 3D printer at the end of this rotation, which is in four weeks, okay? So I made this a little more interesting in my opinion and uh, not too amazing, but it's a start, right? So I'm gonna right click, go to object mode and notice that when I clicked out, I didn't see my shaded view in wireframe, so I'm just gonna go shaded wireframe, right? That's not bad, guys. Uh, I'm gonna talk about, uh, the next video will be about adding lighting in here, taking a nice rendering of it, so we can have a nice presentation of your pieces before we start adding bones and um, animating it. Okay, this looks pretty cool. I'm happy with it. I need to always go File, Save As, Save Scene As, and what I'll do is add a number to it, see here? Go to number three, and I encourage everybody to save every 10 minutes, uh, if necessary, 10 to 20 minutes, uh, you are, uh, you know, things could go wrong. I, I, I prefer to lose uh, 10 minutes of my work than an hour of my work. Okay, guys, bellying out. Thank you very much.